Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Um, before I start, I just want to give a big shout out um, and send all our love and support from myself and Sharon um, to everyone over in Australia, um, to you guys that follow the channel that may be affected or if you've got family and friends that are affected. Um, I hope things change uh, quickly. I hear there may be some rain on the horizon, so hopefully that arrives sooner rather than later. Um, it's very difficult for us over here in New Zealand and probably everywhere else around the world to comprehend the scale of the fire and the devastation it's caused. Um, but we're over in Auckland here, about 3,000 kilometres east of uh, where the fires are and we're getting uh, the smoke travelling this far. Um, so yeah, it is pretty mind-blowing but it does give you a little bit of a sense of the scale. Um, so yeah, here's to all you guys watching, um, your family and friends, and uh, let, let's hope things improve quickly. So cheers to you all. Um, so just following on from that, um, I thought I'd do a very quick taste test of my beer, my Hort 4337 Pale Ale. I um, was going to do a video uh, just around Christmas, but it was too early. I did give a couple of friends a taste test and it was only three days old and it yeah wasn't tasting too great so I thought I'd wait two weeks so I've poured up a glass out of the keg just let the uh, head die down a little bit so yeah it is holding a nice little head nice bit of lacing and nice bit of color there as well so before we dive in I will just quickly run through the ingredients uh, I'll put links a link to the recipe and brew day below. So yeah, as the name suggests, Hort 4337 Pale Ale. So the, uh, the hop is uh, an experimental hop uh, created here in New Zealand, I think at the beginning of 2019, Hort 4337. Um, the malts are 90%, it's all Gladfields, 90% American Ale and 10% Medium Crystal. Designed it to be fairly low ABV, so it's 4.5% and targeted at around 30 IBUs. Um, yeast is USO5. I did two hop additions, one at 5 minutes and one at 0. The 0 minute addition was a hundred start at 100 degrees and let the temperature cool down. Uh, 20 minute hop stand. And then I decided not to do a dry hop this time, just for a bit of a change. That's probably helped with the clarity quite a bit. So yeah, just um, so the hop itself is described as having big notes of tropical fruit and citrus. So we'll see how we go with that on the nose. Before I start, just a quick shout out to Ian Rushton, who's a fellow brewer here in Auckland. Um, Ian's just recently used this hop in a pale ale, and he said in a message to me that he was getting a lot of peach. So. Cheers Ian, we'll see what we uh, pick up on this one. So we'll go in for uh, the nose. Definitely um, not picking up too much citrus, but more tropical fruit. Sort of mixed in with the, um, the caramel sweetness there from the crystal. Very nice. Um, I was almost going to say strawberries, but yeah, it's not quite right. I think the hops and the crystal sort of combine to almost give it like a like a toffee, candied fruit sort of aroma. So yeah, the dry not doing the dry hop. There's not a lot coming off on the nose. So we might just go straight in for a uh, taste, I think. Oh, that's better. Getting more, I am getting a little bit more citrus. Definitely bigger hits of tropical fruit in the flavor. I am getting that peach in the flavor that Ian was talking about. Some nice bitterness there, sort of just at the back end. Yeah, getting a bit more citrus now, almost like um, 
orange rind type flavor coming through. Getting a bit more peach just given the glass a swirl on the nose. It's pretty cold so it probably will get a bit more hot um, aroma and flavor coming through as it warms up. But I'd say the balance is more towards tropical fruit than um, than citrus with this hop. It was very, very nice. Possibly a mistake on my part not doing a dry hop. Um, added to the clarity, but it's, um, I think it's missing that one little dimension there, not having too much on the aroma. But all in all, a very nice... Um, Drinker at four and a half percent. Sort of hints of pineapple as well. Possibly passion fruit there. So yeah, there it is there. Very happy that it'll go down a treat. I am planning to maybe redo the Azaka because um, a few people are disappointed that I never, um, they never got to try it. So I might redo that one next because I was actually blown away with uh, the uh, aroma and flavor on that one. So that might be next in the pipeline. But I'll finish there, guys. Hope your 2020 is going well. It's got off to a good start. Um, you're drinking some good beer. I'll carry on drinking this and we will catch you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Over and out.